YouTubers. It's Lady Grave Dancer, and I wanted to answer one of the questions that I got asked. I can see my witchy bag from here. It's like right there. <laughs> um, I was asked before how, like, is there a ceremony or is there something that you do to add people, like, ancestors to your ancestor altar? Is there a process and everything? And, of course, with every ancestor, it's different. Um, and then with some ancestors, it's really different because you may or may not have pictures of them or even a name or anything that will connect you. So it's different. But because I had to recently add my aunt who passed away a couple of weeks ago to my ancestor altar, I thought it would be a good time to share what I did for her. And again, it was different for my dad when I added my dad. And it's just, you know, the process is different depending on the ancestor. But I thought if I just give you... Um, an idea of what I did with my aunt you know okay we'll kind of open up that what do you call it like horizon to give you ideas of things that you could possibly do so and you don't have to do anything your ancestor altar is already energetic and you can just add a picture to it or just write a name down and put it on there or you know just put that energy into it you don't have to do anything you know what I mean it's just this is just me this is what I do so first thing that I always do is that I cleanse around oh my goodness I cleanse around that altar of course my ancestor altar is very protected and it's very clean but what I'm doing is I'm cleansing the pathway for the ancestor to either acknowledge or add their energy to my altar as well if they want to if they choose to so I do a cleansing my aunt loved gardenia loved 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 gardenia so I mix a little sage and a little gardenia and I set the smoke around and I lit it up and I just cleanse that whole area and while I was doing it I was doing that energy where I'm like welcome welcome this is for you welcome come in you know that's the energy words all the things that I'm putting in there welcome you know for specifically for her because I was adding her to my ancestor ancestor altar it's a tough one literally was my favorite aunt she did a lot for me guys she, one day I'll share the stories of what a mess I was 20 years ago and how amazing she was for me and probably the reason why I'm alive today okay moving on yeah so I lit up her favorite flower was gardenia her favorite scent was gardenia that was just her thing and um, so I lit that up right there and I cleansed the path and I, and I asked her, you know, to come in, welcome her, whatever. Now, her favorite, <laughs> her favorite drink in the world was Dr. Pepper. She loved Dr. Pepper. So I put a little cup of Dr. Pepper on the altar, just a little bitty, little bit. You don't need a whole bottle or anything like that. Just put a little bit of Dr. Pepper there. And she had a huge huge sweet tooth and it was crazy because she's diabetic but oh my god you couldn't get the sweets from her it, like you would lose your hand if you tried so I put up there a chocolate chip cookie and an Oreo cookie one of each I'll put that up there and then she's much like me and it's probably where I get it where we are pickle crazy you see this like I eat pickles with lemon juice on my way home almost every day so I chopped her a little bit of a pickle and I put that up there and that was just for her like I already have drinking food in general I have alcohol I have water and I have food where I do certain offerings to my ancestor altar weekly I change them out weekly um, the, the alcohol I usually change out depending on what our ancestors that watch we, out fog reported ahead oh, um, depending on what our ancestors liked as far as the alcohol goes like not so long ago we put some mascal uh, which is Mexican moonshine because my father-in-law is there because he is part of our ancestors and me and my husband and the kids and uh, you know so I just kind of switch it out my grandma she's like limoncello you know like the, the creamy stuff um baileys I put baileys so those things so kind of switch it out but that's just in general that just goes up there and then we just kind of like okay we'll add this we'll see what comes to me sometimes I ask the kids you know what what is coming to you what do you think we should put you know who's speaking to you now but weekly we do that <clears throat> but when I'm adding someone new I do a little tiny plate with just a little bit of the stuff that they like for them so and I leave that there for the week 
and then obviously I add a picture and if you have more than a picture you add more than a picture I have more than a picture of my aunt of things but I'm only adding the picture to the ancestor altar at least right now I have a ring she gave me but I still want to continue to wear it so currently the only thing that is being put on there of hers is her picture and then I sit there after you place all that. So you've cleansed it. You've welcomed her. You've added the food and the snacks. You've put the picture. I kissed the picture. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable, y'all. And um, put it down and then I'll stand there and I will gather energy like the energy balls in the video that I showed you on energy balls. I'll grab a hold of some energy and connect myself to the ancestor altar as a way to embrace her since she's not here in the physical. I will connect my energy with the altar and I will essentially energy hug her. <laughs> I guess is what it would come down to. Holy shit. I just realized it's complete fog around me. I can't even see the road or the water side oh my god can y'all see if you can look right there that should be water where it's white <laughs> and it's fog wow it's pretty cool I'm sorry um yeah so that's what I do and I give her an energy hug and then we're good to go watch out There's... fog reported ahead <laughs> it's telling me to watch for the fog so it's not like a whole big giant thing but it's something very intimate that I do and like when we added my dad, of course, it wasn't just me doing our thing. Um, I had my dad's picture, driver's license, and his favorite knife on the ancestor altar for him. My husband kept the knife for a little while because it was gifted to him. And then he was like, it's time to put it on the altar. So we put it on the altar. These are just things that, that you do. And it's different for each ancestor. And it's not a problem if you're making an ancestor altar new and you don't like have pictures or information or even names of people or ancestors it's all about what you're feeling that's what you're doing there so you can add things to it even if you don't have pictures or anything you can just have flowers if you knew that maybe some of them were catholic like ours you would add like rosaries you know just whatever knowledge you get from them you can add something from that you know if you knew that they were from a certain city and you visit that city and you grab some dirt from that city or a rock from that city just like that connection and you can put that on there just you know just think out of the box when you're doing it feel your intuition because that will speak to you it will speak to you, you just gotta listen to it and nothing is dumb for it like nothing is dumb like if you look up there on my altar you'd be surprised some of the stuff that happened. i have a broken angel wing up there and that's because it belonged to my grandma so like there's there's nothing that you shouldn't put up there as long as it feels right to you. This is your ancestor altar. These are your ancestors. Don't let people tell you something else. And if you just want to um, have like roses and food and drink and call out an ancestor altar, that's your ancestor altar. That if that's where you go to communicate with them, that's what that is. So yeah. Oh 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 my God! In the live, the other, I hope I didn't scare you. In the live the other day that we did someone had mentioned that if you don't have pictures that you could put a empty picture frame on the altar to represent them even though you don't have a picture for it i thought that was freaking amazing like and i told them i said i'm sharing that <laughs> i gotta share it because that is great that is good stuff like you find a little picture frame or even a big picture frame if you want to represent a big picture frame for your whole family that's gone i thought that was amazing i really did and you can even inside the frame you can add like flowers and stuff like you don't have to leave it empty but i just thought wow this is why i love doing youtube because i learn all the time like i learn something new all the time and it's amazing i love it but yeah that made me happy remembering that <laughs> remembering that picture frame i thought it was great so yeah that was just some ideas of how I add to my ancestor altar and again it's different for each one that I add we unfortunately through the years we've had to add many and it just it is what it is you know life is full of death and I do think having an ancestor altar is a nice way to honor the people who have passed and again even if you don't have an altar set up and you just want to keep like a plate of cookies and like a drink and maybe a little vodka.
house of flowers and you just want to keep it in your window and call it an ancestor altar, that is what that is. And it's a way of welcoming your ancestors in and it's a way of honoring them. And, I, and it doesn't have to be so extravagant. Trust me, mine used to be way bigger than it is now. Um, you know, but space doesn't allow it to be what it used to be. But it's just enough. So yeah, if you guys have anything you want to share about how you do your ancestor altar, or for those of you who make videos, if you've made a video on this subject and you'd like to share it, please put the link down. I will go watch it, of course. And if I'm not subscribed, then I will check watch it out. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. It's a new GPS app and it talks a lot. Um, yeah, and if you just want to share in the comments things that you do, certain rituals that you do for that process, we would love to hear it. In the comments, I love watching people communicate back and forth and sharing. This is a safe zone. This channel is a non-judgmental safe zone and we use YouTube's protections as far as it can go um, by blocking certain words and stuff so they can't be posted so you can't get so much hate and plus we check it and then if I see the hate we get rid of it as fast as we can and block the user so if there's anything that you'd like to share please do so and um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, bless you guys.